This is the shoe that Killian Jornet won a lot of races in last year. It's the normal Shadak. <sighs> Been waiting for this one. This is probably one of my most anticipated shoes of the last year, ever since we saw Killian run and win nearly every race he entered wearing them. The curiosity of how he'd design a shoe after his incredible career with Solomon was the perfect carrot to dangle in front of any trail runner. What we got was a bit of exactly what I expected, and even a dash of what I hoped. The shoes feature a thin but durable upper fabric that gives your foot that perfect glove-like hug. The thinner, gusseted tongue wraps around your foot and keeps the shoe locked in for all that technical terrain that you can throw at it. The midsole is low, super dense and responsive, but provides so much ground feel while mixed with what I can only call the best outsole I've experienced in quite some time. This simple approach to a trail shoe is what stands out. It's a simple build, made of simple materials with one simple message, sustainability. It's a solid approach from a new boutique brand, but is it enough to stand out amongst the fray? We have a lot to talk about in today's review. Let's dive in. What is up everybody, Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. I'm excited about this one. I've been testing these shoes for months and finally I'm putting my opinions together, mushing them into a little stew and I'm delivering a bowl of it to you today. Today, we're talking about this. From normal, it's the Shirak. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Oh, hello there, editor Ethan here. Quick note on the pronunciation of this shoe name. During one of our daily live streams with the GR crew, Norwegian crew member Torgir informed us that the optimal pronunciation is Shadag. And once again, Shadag. Thank you, Torgir. Now, ignore all of my adorable attempts throughout this review and consider joining the GR crew for more fun just like this. Back to the review. But it does come to us from the brand new brand, Normal. Not the normal, which is the only way I pronounce it around here, but it's essentially new normal or no normal. Uh, that is the brand that Killian has put his name behind, and they're doing some pretty big Thanks. So before we get into the review of this shoe though, a couple things I want to point out. Register for Tiger Claw, our in-person trail running race. These shoes would do quite well at them. Just gonna say that now to join the GR crew. It's how you can support this channel, these reviews, these films, everything we do here, live streams, all that good stuff while getting some fun perks on the back end. Uh, and it's an amazing group of runners from around the world doing things just like you're doing, training for the same things that you might be training for. We have a Discord server, we have daily live streams, all sorts of good stuff, fun perks. Please consider, link in the description. And finally, third, these shoes were provided for review by Normal. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about these shoes. I'm not financially compensated in any way for anything that I say in this review. All opinions are my own. No one had to approve this review. You're the first to see it. Give yourself a pat on whatever needs patent. With that said, let's start talking about the basics, things that I like and dislike about the Normal Shadak. Ground feel. So I mentioned this in the intro. This shoe, despite looking like it has a ton of midsole, feels really close to the ground. Every time I put these shoes on and go for a run, uh, you could feel every little nook and cranny, every little rock, every root, and not in a bad way. It's not that it's unprotected. It's just that ground feel that I imagine Killian loves because he does so much extreme mountain running and high consequence terrain. He wants that ground feel. He wants to feel every nook and cranny. Uh, and that is what you get out of this shoe. For those who prefer that more minimal ride, closer to the ground, kind of fast feeling, but very, very natural feeling shoe, this does a great job of getting you the ground feel. Outsole grip. We're talking about Vibram Mega Grip Light Base. I've had it in a number of shoes in the past, but for some reason, something they're doing on the bottom of the Shirak here is incredible. Uh, whether it's the lug shape, the organization of the lugs, it's not a new compound or anything like that, but maybe it's the amount of compound. They are just extremely grippy. And in all the conditions that I've been throwing at it from snow, mud, wet conditions, dry conditions, I haven't really been able to throw much at it that it loses grip on, which is pretty great. Ice, that's the exception, uh, but it's not meant to be an ice shoe. It's just meant to be a grippy shoe. And boy, does it grip, fit. So I'll preface this by saying it is a more narrow Euro fit. I didn't expect anything different. Uh, if it's coming from Killian or former Solomon feet, uh, I expected it to fit a bit narrow and a bit more conforming. I do want to commend them on making that fit very glove-like. You get your foot in there, it has the gusseted tongue. There's not a lot of things rubbing along your foot, not a lot of seams. It is just a really good solid fit. You can tell it's designed to be a tool that just fits around your foot to get you through rugged mountains versus a comfortable pillow that you're strapping onto the bottom of your foot that will help get you through comfortably. I like the fit 
because of that. I know what I'm getting. And finally, the normal mission statement, their whole message on sustainability. They are doing something that's really pioneering in the shoe space. One, they're completely open with how they're building their shoes. They want to be as carbon neutral as possible. The thing that I really want to commend them on is their brand new policy where they will take any of your no longer wanted running gear and they'll give it new life and get it to someone who needs it. So you can send them any brand of shoe, any pair of shoes or running gear in general, and they will take it and they will give it to someone who needs it. You can't ask for a better policy, especially with so much turnover in running gear. Even before I could receive a pair of shoes to review, I had to sign a contract saying that I would run in these shoes until I couldn't run in them anymore and then I'd send them back or I'd pass them on. We do donate all of our shoes that we review here. The Shed Act will be no different. I just really appreciate that from a brand. They're holding me accountable. They're holding everyone else accountable. Let's make a difference. And that's uh, definitely a like from me. That being said, it's not all chocolate croissants at the base of Mont Blanc because I just won first place at UTMB. My name is Killian Jarnett. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Shed Act from Normal. Let's get to those now. The price, the shoe is about $195, and that is a high price point to pay. It is a boutique brand, and I do appreciate that this boutique brand has a price point that's lower than other boutique brands. It's still just a lot of money to spend on a shoe that is so low slung, so simple, so basic in its materials and build. Um, it's just a lot. I get it. Their whole message is sustainability. They don't want you to get rid of this shoe early. They want you to run hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles in the shoe. And if it does start to wear out, you send it back to them. It's a great message. It's just, you know, almost $200 for a trail shoe that doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. It's a lot. Midsole. So yes, it's close to the ground. It's very responsive and tight. Uh, unfortunately, it can be pretty abrasive. It will definitely be a deterrent for many because there's just not a lot of cushion there. If you're running on soft earth or, or technical rock, like the feeling underfoot is dramatically different. There's just not a lot of cushion. So there's not a lot of forgiveness. That's not gonna be a shoe that is for everybody. And finally, narrow. I said I like that glove-like fit and I do. It certainly feels like a tool, a precision uh, instrument to get you through the mountains, but it will be an alienating feature because it does not accommodate a lot of wide feet or non-Euro style fits. Uh, it is just a precision shoe that has that narrow fit, not just through the toe box and the toes, but through the midfoot and through that heel. It's just a narrow platform and it's just gonna take some adaption. Again, it's very reminiscent of what Solomon puts out, which I imagine is exactly what Killian likes, but you know, the brand has a bunch of athletes now who run in this shoe, so I can't just say it's all because of Killian. Uh, it, it is just a narrow shoe, so expect that. But that's it for dislikes. So let's get to our breakdown where we talk about five different criteria in more specificity. Build quality, comfort, fit, price, and look. Starting with build quality. Really all I need to say is that Killian wore the exact same pair of shoes last year in every race that he ran, which is like a thousand plus miles over the most rugged terrain and backcountry that you could ever imagine. His shoes held up fine. I think they're probably on display in some museum somewhere. So the build of these shoes should not be an issue for anybody. <laughs> Comfort, I think that's really the issue with the shoe. That is, I don't think it's a super comfortable shoe. It's not designed to be a very comfortable shoe. Fit, glove-like, possibly too narrow. Already spoke a lot about it. That's that. Price, already mentioned it, 195 bucks. I think it is at that high end of the price point. I wish it was maybe $20 less. Uh, US, they only make a handful of styles of shoes, so I understand because it's a boutique brand, perhaps tooling is too expensive, so they do have to mark up, and you will get plenty of miles out of the shoe, so dollar per mile is, that factor is high, which is great, right? Is that how the math works? Just wish it was a little bit less. And finally, looks, it's very simple. This is white with a little bit of gray kind of mixed in there. Well, technically it's dirty. That's the color that this one is. But they do make a black upper version and then another sort of light white version with some like blue accents. So it's not super dramatic, it's very simple. And I think that's sort of what the brand is about, simplicity. Bringing us finally to our conclusion. These will not turn you into Killian Jornet. No matter how many times I try, they don't work. But I do really like what Normal stands for. They wanted to create a solid, durable, low profile, highly sustainable shoe and product and ethos that really carries throughout the brand, it works. Their message is getting across. I'm a fan of everything that they are supporting and the shoe isn't that bad. It's pretty hardcore. I wish it was a bit softer underfoot because not all of us are killing, not all of us can withstand a, a really harsh ride. Some of us are a bit bigger. So perhaps the shoe just wasn't designed for me and that does 
bum me out because who doesn't want to be like Killian? I do think that the new Brooks Catamount 2, I have a review coming for that too, is a very similar experience. Low to the ground, good ground feel, uh, good responsive cushioning, but it has a bit more underfoot and is a bit more forgiving. So stay tuned for that review. But in the end, this has proven to be a shoe that will last you all year, no matter what you can throw at it. And that says a lot. So is this a buy, try, or a why? I'm gonna give this a try. If you have the budget, and you're looking for something low slung, fast, and you wanna feel like Killian, this is the shoe. The Chirac is definitely a shoe worth trying. The question now ultimately turns to you. Is Normal a brand that is on your radar? Has this been a review that you've been excited about? Is this a shoe that you are interested in? Let me know in the comments of this video. If you have any more questions or you would like to get a pair of the Normal Chirac for yourself, there's a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel, social media, Tiger Claw, GR Crew, I have five fingers, yay me. Get out there, train hard, race harder, and part of the hardest I know I am. We'll see you guys next week for more fun.